Okay, okay, another week, another leak. And this week, we got a, a live stream we're gonna react to. Another dev diary where they're gonna release some information. I'm super excited. I don't know anything else about uh, what we're gonna get today. So, I hope you guys are ready. Let's get into it. All right, stream is starting. Auto braking and passenger seat toggle. Park on slopes. There's a new auto braking feature. What? And passenger seat toggle. Oh, so you can make passenger seats. Wow. That's cool. All right. Two big major things there. Hello, everyone. The devs do listen. Jesus, about time. Interesting stuff. Just drop what we all want. Yeah, boy. Okay, look at the reactions here. Man, I got, I didn't, I, wow. Hopefully the devs can tell us a little bit more about what's going on here. Just give us a little bit more insight into that toggle feature and the break feature. Okay, this is not DLC, by the way, guys. There's no DLC this week. Want your vehicle to stop? You have the with two options. Okay, it's actually a toggable option in the configuration. Zero, so you won't wow, look at it. So we can see it in action there. The car is just coming to a stop by itself. When usually a car would just roll across and just keep going. Now we have an auto brake feature that allows the car to, uh, well, it's optional, you know? You can decide if you want to have your car like keep going or have an auto brake feature, which would be nice for like races and uh, just, just cars in general. So yeah. Um... That's a new feature, and it uh, does also uh, enable you to sort of park on slopes. I want to very quickly add that uh, okay. we still have the, the, the issue where structures and wheels sort of slide down slopes, but you can see that you're not fine-tuning it to be here, uh, so it's, it's trying to stop. It's not always successful. It depends on the on the vehicle and the engine power and uh... okay we can see that he's trying to stop on a slope here and the brakes are working I, I guess it just depends on the vehicle and the amount of verticalness you're trying to stop on but it does indeed work on a, on a you know a vertical surface a slanted surface i should say um because now he's disabled all the braking we can see that the wheels are just still going Ah, right, there we go. It's rolling back down automatically because the toggle for the brake option is now off. I wonder how this will affect drifting. I guess it will just change the dynamics of how the wheels work. If a, if the wheels are trying to stop by themselves, then I guess drifting is kind of out the picture, but I guess it's a toggle, so it doesn't matter. It's really just a choice on how you want to make your car function. What's interesting is these tires are, uh, there's no input in the tires. So auto brake is just a toggle option. You can't actually toggle it on and off during driving. But I mean, it could be interesting if they implemented that to be able to have the brake feature on automatically like as an input. But clearly we're not going into that direction. Should we look at the next, uh, the next thing on the agenda here? Yes, I think we should. <laughs> Okay, so the next part of this update. Okay, so pretty simple. You can just toggle a seat to passenger seat mode there in the bottom left. It takes <laughs> it takes away the steering. That's so funny. There's no steering wheel there now. That's so cool. Just a tiny little detail they, they added. It's just a seat now. Look at that. <laughs> the steering wheel gets turned off for most uh, seats. And the pose is also a more, let's say, <laughs> yeah, That's back. really funny. So, whereas before, when you had to... If you wanted to make a passenger seat, you had to put an extra seat down, but turn off every single individual input connection to all of, like, the uh, powered blocks, for example. But you can just do that with a flick of a button now you can just toggle it it's it's great also if i move my camera there just above me there is a new icon hinting that you're in a passenger seat so it just shows no controls just says passenger seat which is awesome it's like a little seat symbol that's cool <laughs> it even takes away the little joysticks on the operator seat there that's crazy gotta say i'm really digging this laid back turbo look right here 
Okay, so let's have a closer look at this video here. But what I'm more interested in is this giant racetrack. We can see it in like so much quality now. There's a mountain segment here. I'm guessing this is the tunnel you go through. There's a loads of turns around here. It says Grand Prix, the Grand Prix circuit. So that's the official confirmation of the race name, I guess. There's also a helicopter pad up there, which is nice. This map design is crazy. It's like super flushed out. I'm just like trying to spot if there's any like, you know, new parts for the DLC that we don't get any information on this week. But uh, I'm being nosy just in case. All right. Well, I couldn't find any new pieces there. But for the information we have got, very impressed. I am very impressed. I also checked Steam to see if there's any new information. Nothing new this week. Or they just haven't released any more information on this just yet. But it's pretty simple what we're getting, right? These little features are not like the biggest thing to add to the game, but for free content, it's definitely an improvement. Like, it's an option, and I think it's good to have options to do more things in this game anyway. But this included with what we reviewed uh, last time with the damage physics being improved, or collision physics, I should say. I think it all just adds to quality of life. Just a little bit more information on the timeline of things. Here's this little uh, dev diary schedule where they're going to talk about the update. So as of recording this video, July 4th, we've just done dev diary 2 and we've just reviewed that. And they've talked about the new braking system and the passenger seat. We have to wait till July 18th for the third dev diary. It says update and pre-recorded. So they've got something pre-recorded. August the first for free update so there's more features to, there's so many more free features they're gonna add which is cool especially if we have to wait till august the first to find out and then on august the 13th dev diary number five it's finally talking about the dlc so hopefully that's the new parts and maybe some new skins and the same thing on the 16th of august with the final dev diary Again, talking about the DLC. So this just gives me an idea when they're gonna release the update and the DLC for this. I feel like the fact it says August is making me feel like late, maybe la the, like the end of August or maybe September. Around September is probably my guess for this update. So it's not too bad, not too bad of a wait, but it's nice that the devs have given me a schedule to actually see what's happening so I can, you know, it's easier to plan these videos. But definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you think these new little features that they're going to add for free, by the way, are necessary? Are you going to use them? Are you going to love them? I don't know. Let me know. I definitely think a bigger thing is the fact that we're having new collision physics. I just can't wait till they start talking about this DLC. I just, I'm so interested in seeing the new parts. But at least we got a bigger view of the new map, the new race map, the new Grand Prix map, I should say. I shouldn't be calling it a map because I think it's already confirmed that it's not actually a new map. It's just on the race island map as a new island. But yeah, not much that they've really talked about today. I mean, there's two major things things but i guess they're just giving us bits of the free update as we go along into each dev diary and i think they're just building up the hype for the update once again just loving the consistency for the updates on this game trailmakers updates are crazy they come out like once every three months or something it's insane super excited and i hope you guys are too and if you want any more information definitely check out my last review videos on these updates and if i find out anything else in the future i will definitely post more videos on this topic and why not consider subscribing to stay informed about all all this new trail makers updates and uh, dlc stuff but yeah that's enough for me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye